So what are you supposed to be? Well, this year I decided to be a monk, and uh, instead of having a Bible, I have my beer Bible. Cool. So I have uh, all these things I can look up here, and obviously I, I am because I have my uh, Trappist John mug. Awesome. So even though they can't really see it, it says Trappist John right on Trappist it. Trappist John. And uh, so what do you got over here? It looks like you got this really ancient book going on yeah. and a wand. So what's happening my, here? Uh, my wizard friend sent me this book of spells, and I'm trying to figure out how to turn this glass of water into beer. That's ridiculous. There's no way from this book that you're There's gonna... a spell specifically to turn water into beer. All right, and well. I'm, I'm going to figure it out. All right, well, if you can turn water into beer, I'll let you start the show. Okay. All right, here I go. Abs of beer me! <laughs> Holy shite! <laughs> you did it. All right, you got it. Welcome to Abs of Beer TV, the Halloween show. Welcome. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is AbsBeerTV.com. Happy Halloween. Yeah, this is John Jansen. And this is Brian Smith. And uh, take a look at our set. We're looking pretty spooky here. Oh, scary. I'm, I'm wizarding it up right now. And I'm uh, the monk, Travis John. <laughs> right, nice. And Good I have stuff. my beer Good bottle stuff. with me. But, oh, wait. There it is. I'm there. Yeah, that's right. Beers of the World Bible. Absolutely. Hey, uh, before we get started, we want to say some thanks to some folks out on, on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Brews and Ales, thank you. Uh, we have had lots of great conversations, so hello, uh, Julie. Yeah, hi, Julie. And you'll have to uh, check out their website. They've got a lot of beer. Lots of beer. Lots, lots of, of beer. beer. For sale. Yeah. Lots of beer for sale. That's right. <laughs> Who else we got? Uh, we got uh, Cindy Davenport. She's a great fan on Facebook that has a lot of great questions, and... Uh, Let's me gives me an opportunity to do a lot of research to try to f answer those questions and uh, make sure we get her protein in the right spot That's as right. far as uh, right. oatmeal stouts or uh, what kind of beer goes great with uh, chocolate chip cookies, for example. I thought a Lindemann's Framois would be good with those. So cool. uh, for everybody out there on Facebook and Twitter, keep those questions and comments coming. It's an interactive page and. Uh, it's really cool to be able to get out there and do that kind of stuff, Absolutely. so thank you very much. Helping JoJo, too. JoJo yep. Davenport. Yep, JoJo Davenport. Who's her chihuahua. Yeah, got to get help. Got to help the dogs as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep, yep. And uh, also, you guys need to check out twobeerqueers.com, uh, Bully and Russell, uh, episode 37. <laughs> Yeah, isn't there two knuckleheads? There's two knuckleheads, knuckleheads on, on that show. Either. And we're not talking about Bully and Russell. No, They're not absolutely the knuckleheads. not. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you got to check out that. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Well, we did something a little bit different this time. You can see that we've got five beers here uh, lined up. And uh, what we did is we did a blind taste test. So instead of you sitting there watching us drink five different pumpkin beers one after another and using some of the the same adjectives. They they should all be pumpkin in, you know? Wow. So yeah. So um so what we did is is uh we did some blind taste testing. We got a couple of clips from that. Yeah. We're gonna show them. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Tastes like carrot cake. That tastes pumpkin-y. So, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the beers that we just tasted, and uh, at the end of that, we'll, we'll go ahead and talk about which ones we like best. We started off, not necessarily in taste tests, of course, but as we're lined up across here, we're going to go ahead and talk about the beers. We're going to, first of all, talk about the Weyerbacher Imperial Pumpkin Ale, and Weyerbacher, as we know, is from uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, I noticed on that beer, it was a kind of candy sugar, uh, dark molasses type tasting pumpkin ale, 8%. So uh, it was good beer. 
what I liked about it is they hid the alcohol content really well in it, so it was definitely a flavorful beer. Yeah, definitely. You know? uh, the second beer here that we, we've got in line is the uh, Wingsburg Ale Works Pumpkin Ale. Really good, 7.5% uh, alcohol. Mm -hmm. Really picked up on, on the cinnamon and the, uh, the nutmeg. And w what I liked about it, John, it was, it was really like eating a slice of pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. So it was really kind of milky and creamy and really the the pumpkin pie part maybe not necessarily pumpkin but pumpkin pie really jumped out at right me. Uh, absolutely and that was uh a 7.5 7 percent mm -hmm. so both of those had nice nice uh, abvs in them yep the next, right down the street in Williams. yep right down the street and if we're lucky we'll be having having a little gig there later yeah. on so we're looking forward to that as well cool the next one we had was also we're lucky all these beers and it just happened at you know, just happened to be that way. Are all pretty close to us, 